Greetings. Hello. It's 999 time. This is... I don't fully remember what we were doing. Um... The Nonary like... Game. Oh. <laughs> the Nonary Game, the Nonary Game, the Nonary Game, the Nonary Game, the Nonary Game. Um, last thing we did was we got out of the kitchen and we left a good meal in there that we didn't eat. A puzzles. good meal, heavy quotes. <laughs> yeah, man. Grilled pork, Unseasoned no seasoning. Unseasoned pork on a rusty grill. <laughs> mm, delicious. The rust gives its flavor. <laughs> Second one. Yes. Okay. So yeah, now we're here. We've all been here before. <laughs> you cut me off, Junpei. <laughs> so rude. But um, yeah, we were trying to figure out if we could get to the other side of that thing. We did, right? That was what we were yeah. trying to do. On our left should be a gate. That that was where we're gonna. We were. Mm. I can word. Yep. All right, so this is that. The elevators are over there, so that means... We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. That means the map was right. Thank goodness. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Yeah, we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. From the looks of it, there are four possible routes. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. Mm. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. And B. Yeah, there were two doors. But they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Now, route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door five, one of the numbered doors. <laughs> Don't want to do go down that way. Do you think we would meet up with the other <laughs> four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Mm. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. But it's open now. What do you think that means? It's oh, downstairs. <laughs> They opened it. Most likely. And if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Mm. Then that means... Route D, then. I mean, I guess we could go and see if they left anything. If we were to take Route yeah. C. We could take a look at the corpse. You wanted to do that, Junpei? Yeah. D it is. Yep, route D. Then we're set. All right. I guess once he chooses to go with them, Junpei okay loses here. all desire to look at the corpse. Speaking yeah. of, let's see Come if on. we can check the flow. All yeah, right. that makes we're sense. We're getting to, to, next... to another choice. Hmm. Hmm. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just like I thought, D deck is totally underwater. Anyone here experienced with free diving? Just like the <laughs> bottom of the central staircase. At least the water level hasn't really changed. Small comfort. Hmm. May as well head back to C deck. Hmm. It's good to check on what that else at least. Is here? Make sure. There are two elevators over there at the top of the stairs. Just like the floor above. Any symbols? Hold on. These are kind of different. See? There's a card reader on the side. Whoa. Mm, another okay. strange mark. Uh, I, I like hey, to make us. my guesses. Yeah. That's us, Mercury. I guess it's not really a guess this time. <laughs> We're wearing it on our clothes. <laughs> Speaking of, we should make some we should make Zodiac symbol shirts for just to put on the red bubble. Yeah. Just one of each planet. Would be fun. Hey, look! It's Lotus's symbol! Huh? 
That's not true. See? It's the woman symbol with horns on it. Oh, you're calling her it. Right. That's mean, dude. <laughs> that seems like... <laughs> What was that about the mark again? Oh shit, get hit. Uh -huh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Mercury symbol. Mm. The horns symbolize the wings on Hermes's staff. That's another thing that would be fun to do. Basing us on Greek gods as well, just like a Hermes set. I just want to draw you in a toga. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, that would be Hermes, fun. Herpes, whatever. <laughs> we can't get this thing to work. Excuse These me? elevators aren't going anywhere. Uh, excuse me, Mom? In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. I love how he says that, like, the symbol's not important, even though that's, like, the whole point to what he says next. <laughs> we have to get it open. Probably. Probably. You gonna just break it? On, then. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this hallway on the left? Whoa, there's so many doors. I hope we don't have a time limit. And if they're not, I hope we don't have a time limit. Damn it. If we try and search all these, the sun's gonna go down before we've done half of them. Not if you're fast. I think the sun already set. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. That's even worse. That's why well, you guys want we can to come back to this hallway here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm gonna turn you okay. Stop it, Discord. One ninety. Oh, no. <clears throat> hey. Cock and ball. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> Time to head back to the stairs. And now the right hallway. <sighs> there are doors here too. <sighs> well, I guess it's just four this time. Mm. Let's God open damn, it. There's more rooms. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Let's start with this one. They told me there were only going to be nine of them. Huh. It isn't locked. I'm going to open it. It's a gun. <laughs> it's a big gun. Gatling gun. What? Seven hey, eight. seven eight. Okay. Do we meet up with our other friends? Oh, if they're down three, two. Stairs, oh. oh no, it's that we're on the, the lowest floor. Because that even down our stairs is flooded. Yeah, but I meant like on the other like if they're on the other side, I mean. I would assume that it's split in two, the ship. So there might be a room similar to this on the other side. Or even then, I don't think that we're allowed to, like, meet up with them yet. Because, you know, you're supposed to go in limited group numbers. Mm. I just, I feel like if we had to make that choice at all, then we're probably not going to see them for a while. And that's why we have all these, like, branching paths. But, I mean, who knows? I could see that, and then we see them right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this game is going to go. I've only been through one of these. Oh, we can see what they're labeled. Oh. This place is huge. Oh, there are beds everywhere. It looks like an infirmary. Is, yeah, is this a hospital? Thinking. Yeah. It definitely has the smell. There are bottles over there, probably medicine. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. <laughs> this is either an infirmary or a very suspect um, prep room. Hey, look <laughs> there. The four doors at the end. Hmm. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. Congrats. They're numbered doors. Mm, can we check uh, this no on the, is this on the map, dude? Can we check? Why is the second door blank? We could probably check and see if it has any clues. That seems kind of strange, don't you think? Yes, it's a little strange. No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. 
You know they won't. Hmm. They told he told you how to do things work yeah, earlier. It's no and use. And then they're thinking maybe we're coming from the back of the rooms that they're attached to. Like if you can get back in. But they have the uh devices next to them, so I'd assume not myself. Yeah, they have the red. But it's good to double check, I guess. I mean, considering their situation. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? We have to activate the red, or the numbered doors won't... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase? If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh, yeah. You're right. But this one... Oh, so they're mm. off. There's nothing on it. Maybe we right. have to get to the end of I wonder if it's broken. Mm. Only one way to find out. It's not responding. So that is incredibly dangerous, because if your numbers didn't add up right, you could have all exploded. But I guess you can't get any without taking a risk. <laughs> and door three? None of them are working. What does it mean? Power's out. <laughs> I knew it. They're broken. Zero sure sucks at maintenance. No, that's impossible. You really think Zero, who prepared all of this, would make such a stupid, simple mistake? Maybe, but that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Hey, Snake. Hey, we met up. Snake! You're so low res, Ace. <laughs> that sprite of his in particular know? is really fuzzy. How? How did you guys? Yeah, we'd need more numbers. How did you end up here? That's my line. The rooms looked around. Mm. Perhaps we should exchange information. Mm. There you have it. Our half of the story. Okay, let me see if I got Can't all this straight. Go back and see that. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh-huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. We heard our voices like friends. Why don't we check those three reds Actually, again? Actually, we're talking really case. loudly. You're right. Could be very echoey in here. Huh. But we a didn't hear them. Gap on the <laughs> they don't like to talk to each other. <laughs> I think it's a We were talking incredibly loud. That's my opinion. Probably kind of... electronic. It's making Lotus yell. Well, this no, they isn't heard, good. They heard Lotus beating us up. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Hospital rooms. That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I don't believe, I believe you're blind anymore. I believe it was anymore. the symbol of Jupiter. Hmm. I mean, I guess maybe yes, I'm sort of thinking. Very sus of you, Snake. Not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Injuries happen on cruises, too. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. Oh. The Gigantic. Oh, uh, yeah. Britannic, Titanic, Gigantic. Mm -hmm. That makes sense though. why it seems similar to... Yeah. I think he said it. Gigantic? 
What is this gigantic? The gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in yeah. the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but mm. World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy yeah, took her over sense. and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic so was funding the remake. Seeing as she was identical. So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? That's six. Yeah, what it sounds least, like. I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured. Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, 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 whoa, wait a minute. Memory isn't back? <laughs> yeah. Your point being? <laughs> wait. Was I the only one that didn't know? Why? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. What? But we all, we had that whole conversation. Huh. <laughs> why, why didn't you no. tell us then? <laughs> yeah. When we asked what you all remembered from before, you even made that dodgy comment. <laughs> Seven. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Why is my audio fucking up? Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Huh. Twelve. It's midnight. We have six hours. Then we've still got six hours left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We look. We've looked everywhere in this room. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Hmm? Mm. Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't freak out. We've already searched four of them. Four rooms? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, just maybe? Hmm. All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Then right. I guess we'll just die. Then let's do this. <laughs> it's one. I better get back to the others. Oh, I didn't get to look. I thought it makes sense. I'd have to do a bunch, huh? Yeah. Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? 
Jumpy, look! Vacant? Hmm. <sighs> Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? But I'm well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but... The missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Hmm. Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? He wasn't searching all the runes, but like his portion of the runes by himself, was he? <laughs> <laughs> It'd take him a while, he's blind. <laughs> yeah. Just, just hands, like hands on the floor. Oh, oh, is this yeah. a battery thing? I think it is. And how oh, could he be sure? He more. <laughs> and how could he be sure that he wasn't like checking the same room over and over if he was by himself? Uh, hmm. I got questions for you, Snake. I'm hoping that we'll get another option to split and I can take, and like, we can go with him. But yeah, I don't know if that'll give us the answer. Yeah. I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. Mm. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Because he's blind. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. And why no one went with him. Doesn't have no! a cane. That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing. He can get around as well as anyone who can see. Can he echolocate? He <laughs> 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 just hear him like clicking his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> He like hums or something. <laughs> so he he couldn't get lost. Oh, I'm gonna go look for him. What are you crying for? If you if his hearing is that great, he can probably hear you. Honestly, you might not need to look for him. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on, Clover. Wait. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. Go into a room while they're both gone? No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh man. They sound good. I yeah, see. Clover probably has only barely made it out of the room. I don't know how fast she runs. Yeah. She, I mean, she could be, like, on in the track or something, but... This room's pretty big. <laughs> oh yes, what an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. All right, I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. It quickly turns into a locked room murder situation. I'll be over here. See you all later. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Hmm. You go. Know what? And a casino on DJ. You want to check that out? Uh, here, wait. We sh do we have access to the map right now? Uh, no. It would be in the. Well, I mean, I could check through the menu. Yeah. Uh, this is the casino. That, that's casino. Oh. Kitchen. Oh. Fuck that place. And where we looked before. Yeah. Hmm. And then there's. So, central staircase. Oh. And first class cabin. 
Which um, we weren't, we haven't been here either. I don't. Yeah, think. I imagine that's where we'd go if we went through the other door. Mm -hmm. oh. So we have two places that we haven't seen before that we could choose: the casino yeah. and the cabin. Uh, Wait, I kinda wanna... the, the casino door is locked? Oh, oh. Uh, That's why we went down the stairs. I guess uh, they, they, they could be unlocked now. They could have gone through them. I don't... I know that there were locked doors. I don't remember if they actually... Oh, oh yeah, because they were here. Well, you can't see my mouse, but... but yeah. People watching, they were here. We know, like, most likely, um, Group 5, uh, went into the first class cabin and did a puzzle there to get, maybe unlock this gate, mm -hmm. but when we got here, it was open and see no doors were locked. It's possible that they did a puzzle in the casino and it locked behind mm -hmm. them and that's why we couldn't get in. And that's true too. I imagine if we have access to it now, some group either unlocked it or it's just suddenly unlocked and we missed someone. Which, both yeah. are possible. Uh, but... Zero is just wandering around, just yeah. unlocking doors, slamming mm. the fucking electronic pieces in place. Mm. He forgot to put them there in the first place and was so glad we all ran to check out the hallways. Yeah, either way, oh. I think that that's a good place to start. Yeah. How about the casino on B deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. Just to ascertain hey, its lock status, think you're doing? I guess. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? We're not doing alliances. Listen, I don't care what yeah. you say, I don't want a threesome. <laughs> hmm. This ship isn't really the most romantic uh, place right now. Talk to me <laughs> after we get out. Tell that to June. <laughs> Last time she was so <laughs> uh, I want to listen. I think. Yeah. Dude, what is it? Talk about. Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? We're all a team. Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals 26. So we could go through door eight. The digital root of 26 to, wait a minute. Yep. Yeah. What about the other four? <laughs> I guess they, wait, what do they Ace, Snake, to? Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and 1 plus 0 oh. equals 1. So they'd just be left behind for now. The digital root for those four would be 1. That's right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Mm -hmm. Of course I know that. No! Are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we You're wouldn't really be leaving them behind. How does she propose we get through number nine? Our numbers stay the same no matter what doors we go through. <laughs> we have yeah. to find number nine to get off the ship. <laughs> Which means we couldn't get off and come back for them. Yeah. It'd be... It's the worst idea to have, like, leave anyone behind. Yeah, we need as many numbers as possible. Yeah. Don't try to lie to us. Yeah. I don't think you do anything of the sort. 
I don't even think this is a case of lying. I just think she hasn't thought it through. Yeah. <laughs> really? Why do you think that? You know, I appreciate this game's writing, but I'm having a hard time really distrusting Lotus as much as they want like me to do as much as like June and Junmei are hinting towards want like wanting to. I don't think she's a bad person. I just don't think that she fully thinks <laughs> sometimes. Like, for example, when he asked her if she locked the door behind them in the freezer, why would she do that? You need as many numbers as possible. <laughs> Unless she like cut a deal with Zero, I guess, to kill everyone and then get off the ship herself. But then what would the whole point of this game be? Yeah. You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we managed to escape... Wouldn't. There's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. I guess cops ain't shit in Japan, too. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. Mm. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. <laughs> Glad I bought this echoey filter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital root for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring ace two, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? I mean, this whole situation's unfortunate. Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? Now you choose to remember the rules? <laughs> the number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Oh, wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? No. That's... that's just... Do you think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. That didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Well, uh, regardless... Let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. All right, where should we go next? <clears throat> All right, the only other person we haven't really been... Person, the only other place we haven't really been is the cabin, so I guess that next? Yeah. Let's go take a look at the first class cabin. It's really close. What should Junpei do? She ran off by herself. I think we should talk to her, right? Yeah. Are you alright? <laughs> Look, I know you're really worried, but... Um... Hello. Hello. Hmm? Do you need a Snickers? <laughs> <laughs> go away, okay? Just go somewhere else! Stop I'm... bothering me! I understand. We haven't eaten in how many hours now? We have some pork in the kitchen in the kitchen. Are you hungry? <laughs> uh um Why are you still here? Did you hear me? Yeah, it might be a little crispy, but. There's also some cheese we can have with it. Huh? Fine! Forget it! If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just- Alright. Let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> we really need to find Snake. For Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> we just keep walking between the casino and the first deck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if she went off to think, maybe she's not there anymore. Yeah. I wonder how many choices we have until they stop us. Uh... Or if June will tell us we're wasting our time, in which case, why even give us the choice? Yeah. Um... Hmm. I don't know. We, we could see if he's still searching the rooms, the hallway. Yeah. Hey, uh, why don't we go back to C deck? We can take a look at that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, it's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Hmm. I don't see the benefit in not talking to people. Yeah. I can't check the flow. Let's go. Ah, hello there. There is a possibility that we only get so many of these interaction choices we're gonna miss out on one. I guess. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's we, sake. We find him floating in the water at D-Deck. Right. Like dead or just having a fun time? Even more. <laughs> By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? No, Junpei, what do you mean? They don't look alike at all. Junpei does not believe in adoption or found family. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. Mm. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. I don't know if I believe that they're siblings, but using their looks isn't really proof. <laughs> the clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Something about that was... Nah, I'll think like a... All right. Oh, gosh. Where should what? we go next? Something about that was more often on the planner. Like they said, finding snake is our top priority. We did his best to clear his mind. All right, where should we go next? And then switch back. All right. Um, the only other place we haven't checked is the large hospital room. We were just in there, but that doesn't mean things haven't changed. Yeah, we find snake asleep on one of the beds. Yeah. So why don't we go back to the big oh, hospital? Oh, hey guys, what are you doing? Oh. We couldn't find him before because he was actually under a cot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go then. Hey, wait, that's... Santa? <laughs> what you doing? What are you doing? What? You can't tell? You I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... the guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Do you have a fingerprinting kit on you? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Looking to see if anyone caught their hair in it when they were repairing it. <laughs> who do you think did it? Who's Shad? I don't know. <laughs> well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Hmm. Snake, Lotus, Zero, or someone other than the eight of us? I mean, my guess would be Zero. But mm. I don't know how actually likely that is. I don't know how he would have gotten in this room without us noticing anything. But that doesn't mean that he didn't do it. <laughs> 
here's my guess. Uh, yeah, and it's the same for all the others, really. No. Zero did it, and he he walked. He came out of the blank door and then locked it behind him. Done. I'm the smartest. Mm, maybe the blank door is a like a way for him to get another way for him to get around. Yeah. Maybe it leads to like a. Because we only have the map for B deck, this is C deck. Mm. So maybe, like, we can't see the map right now for it. So maybe that door leads to a separate, like, whole line than the rest of them, and that's where Jiro hangs out. Maybe. We don't have a map for C. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking at the, like, stairs and stuff on B-Deck. Mm -hmm. I don't know how light- I mean, all of these have equal likeliness, I guess, in my head. Mm -hmm. Since Lotus has decided that she's going to be the one to launch harebrained schemes. Yeah. And Snake has disappeared. <laughs> Hmm. And, of course, Zero is public enemy number one. <laughs> uh, even if Snake did one of these, he couldn't have gone by himself and exploded without us knowing, right? I mean, he's two. He could get into a door by himself, but none of these. Yeah. Or we're not missing anyone else. I'll just say zero for now. I think it was probably zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. <laughs> you don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me <laughs> like that means he didn't do it. Yeah, I can't imagine it would be broken for any distractive reasons. But I can't think of reasons for the others to do it and not tell us either. I mean, yeah. who do you think took that stuff out in the first place? Probably Zero. Probably Zero. Yeah, exactly. And why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken <laughs> them out himself? Yeah, that's our puzzle to solve. It just doesn't make sense. Why do all that work? Huh. <sighs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, what happened then? Who put that stuff back in the reds? So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. But... What? No idea. Maybe if they come clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Dunno. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Mm -hmm. hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. Hmm. Just don't get it. I mean, if this were Dogen Rampa, it would be easy to see the motivation for, like, th for this. Because, like, the prime motivation in Dogen Rampa is basically just despair, right? But for this, you create a, for this, you create a situation where everybody has no choice but to trust each other because they literally need each other to get out. Yeah, <laughs> this seems more like a trust-building exercise gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> So it the makes it seem like you ha manager. like if this whole thing is about trusting other people or like forcing you to trust other people, why would they undermine it by how by like being in cahoots with any single one of the players? I wonder. Yeah. What's the point behind that? What does that prove? In Nangarumba, you were forced to trust each other, and even that still didn't work because someone was going to die anyway. <laughs> but in this, no one has to die necessarily. I just- I'm wondering what the whole point of the game would be then, if one of us is a traitor. 
can't be to just prove the superiority of numbers. <laughs> it's just... Because, I mean, in that aspect, you're actively taking out your numbers. I wonder. Yeah. You've got to be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. I just don't understand why they do that. Yeah, well, like that, I guess. Mm. In this situation, it doesn't make sense to turn on anyone in your group. Yeah. I'd say that this is one of the few situations where there's no advantage to being a backstabber. Yeah. In a lot of, like, games like this where you're locked in a room with a bunch of people, there's a motivation or some advantage to going against the people in your group. Maybe you work alone because... Maybe just, like, wanting to work alone is what you're better at and you're certain that you'll get out like that. But in this game, it's impossible to get out alone. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah. If you try to go alone, you die. <laughs> but, um... Like, in games, like... like... Hmm? Like, uh, similar concept in that game. Like, in Saw, there, there is usually a benefit to, like, killing one of your fellow... In, mm. Like, uh... I guess, players. Because there's usually some fucking, like, puzzle that needs solving, and it usually needs solving due to uh, an extra body part or loss thereof. Mm. Or it's like a case where you this person either dies or you get the key to your cuffs. Yeah. Stuff like that to like make it extra simple, I guess. But yeah, in this, this one, it's, it's not... all based on working together. Your mm. numbers need to add up. Yeah, and one person could not possibly check all, like, 48 or more rooms in a hallway all by themselves within an hour, for, is another example. You need other people in this game in order to do things within the time limit. Yeah. Mm. Like, it just seems like, people, like they're just building distrust out of, like, paranoia, which is fair, paranoia does that to people, but you guys mm. need to think more. Yeah. You need it's... to work together. There, like, I understand, like, the building paranoia, wondering if maybe one of our teammates really is zero, then what's the point in that? Like, they, they have all this paranoia, but they're not really asking questions about it. It's strange. They're asking questions, they have to... but all the wrong questions. Yeah, all the wrong questions. They're asking questions that just feed their paranoia rather than questions that would absolve it. Yeah. Or absolve them of it, more accurately. They're not thinking through it completely. Like, no, I don't trust all these people that I woke up with necessarily, but I also don't trust the person who put us in this situation more. <laughs> they have to, I guess, more unite than try to find reasons to make the other people seem like bad guys. Yeah. It's just... I... I still don't get what Junpei thought Lotus was trying to do with the freezer, and that's where all this, like, that's where all the distrust in everyone really started building. I think if they all just thought about it a little bit. But, um, I guess we'll keep moving and if, there's a, if they present us with a reason. Yeah. <laughs> where next? Oh, we could finish searching, so... Mm. It, let's at least go back to one of the previous places and see if anything's changed. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the casino let's first, so let's go down the, the list if we can. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. There's no one here. Alright, so when they mean by search, what they mean by searching the casino is searching the hallway around it. I guess we All still right, can't yeah. get in. Let's try somewhere else. Alright. Oh, no, let's go back out. downstairs and check out that hallway with all the doors. Oh, nobody's here. So I guess we just needed to do that to talk to everyone. Let's look somewhere else. Or choose not to talk to everyone. But where? And now it's not gray. Um, first class Let's cabin? go check out the first class cabin. Okay, I'm coming with you. <sighs> no one's here. 
Maybe we'll have more luck somewhere else. But where? Okay. Uh. What happened? Oh. Uh, I guess we can go back to the hospital room and finish searching. I guess. Yeah. Seems like. Let's really head back to the large to hospital room. Mm. All right. That's probably the best idea. Never hurts to double check. I think anyone is chat. here. Hmm. What the? Okay. I need to stop hitting the up key. Searching. The down key takes me down the list, Snake but the up key does not take searched. me back around. <laughs> and we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. Maybe he went through the blank doors. We need to get moving. Or alternatively, maybe he was taken through the blank doors. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Uh, sacrifice? Mm, this wasn't a great idea, Lotus. Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yeah. yes. Possibly the worst word you could have used. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Leaving behind three people with two teams of four and three. Um, we can try fighting against this. Uh, we can bring up the calculator, right? Yeah. So... Alright, so, uh... Two is out of the equation. Mm. Because Snake seems to be gone. M.I.A. <laughs> yeah. So... We have one, three, four... Um, yeah, yeah, I, leaving out two, just leave out two. We have all those yeah. numbers to work with. Oh, well, leaving and out two need... and nine, of course. Yeah, and we need to either get through door three, seven, or eight. Mm. And there has to be at least three in a group. Mm. So... so is there a way to make it out with three in one group and four in another? Is the question. Mm -hmm. Liam dropped by to say hi and then drop we'll drop away. Later. Thanks, Lima. Uh <clears throat> so uh... Um, I'm just gonna plug numbers right now, real yeah. quick. I wanna see. Yeah, what's that? Can't go through that one. So. I'm trying to see wh who Junpei would need to go with. Mm, uh. Okay, five. Four and eight all make eight. Yeah, but that's so do mm. one, three, and four. Mm. So it's two possible that's two possible groups right there. Mm. Um <clears throat> gonna have to take a note. Yeah. I think I have a pen somewhere. He used to be an artist. Got all you inking pens lying around. <clears throat> Alright, so. Shift in my bag. I'm also going to take notes just. Four, five, and eight is one group. You said one, three, and four is another? 
Yeah. Those both add up to eight. Hmm. Is there a way to get a group of... Well, um, we know that... What was it? it should be four, five, eight, and seven? No. Who did uh, Lotus want to take with us? Lotus wanted to take seven with us, right? Uh... I used four instead of... June is six. Yeah. Five plus eight plus seven... That's one group of four that we could have had. Yeah. That we can have. Uh. This is the one like, that we don't want to do, though. Yeah. A one that we don't want to do. If we were to use one, three, and four, that makes eight. The numbers left over are what? One, uh, three, four. It would be five. Six, seven, seven, and eight. Okay. Five plus six, seven, eight. But we can't. That's another one that we can't do, though. Wait, can? Hmm. Mm. Wait, can we? If we do one, three, and four. Yeah, one, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight are linked. It so we can't do yeah. this. So the other one that we had was four, five, and eight, which equals eight. Yeah, and the number four, is left five, over. Eight. The number that would be one, three, six, seven. Six and seven. Eight. Ah. So is this how this is going to go? <clears throat> we could figure something else out, I guess. We could. I don't think we've done a combination that has one and five in the same group yet. Mm. One, five, um. Four? Yeah, let's try four. So let's note this down first. We'll just do one plus five plus four first. Yeah. That's one, so we can't do that one. Okay. One plus five plus four plus who do we, who would we add? We need at least six. Uh, Santa? Maybe. That's three. Uh. That would only get us through group. Uh, that would only get us through door four. So. Uh, so we, we took... need at least six. June. Yeah. So we took June with us. That would get us through door seven. So, so... I think, yeah. So, one, five, four, six, that, e that is seven. Mm. So, and that leads out... Three. Uh, yeah. Three, seven, and eight. Nine. <laughs> Well, good for them. They can get out of the <laughs> yeah. last door. <laughs> um. So, three, seven, eight, it's nine. Those two are linked and therefore impossible. Um. Hmm. I have a feeling there's a way we could all we also should try to factor for door three. Cause that's another option. Yeah. So how could we get back we could do um one plus Yeah, one plus five six plus um one plus five plus four before equals Uh seven eight four is one uh no it so, one plus five plus four was one. So about one plus five plus four plus and one plus five plus four plus six was seven. So one plus five plus four plus three is four. Dang it. If we had 
Snake, come back! <laughs> <laughs> but what did you say before? Seven plus. Anyway, I. Six, seven, eight. Oh. Well, nine Six. is dead. Six, yeah. seven, eight also equals three. Yeah. Okay, I'll note that down. Six, seven, eight equals three. And the numbers left behind would be. One, three, five. And four. One, yeah, one, three, four, five. What would that be? Four. <sighs> Linked. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, three plus four plus five is three. Three, four, five is okay. So left behind we have one, six, seven, eight. Four. Ah, I hate to agree with her, but it seems like. <sighs> yeah, I think that is our last one. <clears throat> uh... Have we used one and eight together? No. Uh... We still have a few more combinations to try. Yeah. Alright, 1 plus 8 would be 9. So how do we get it to 3? Uh... Okay. 9... Uh... Nine, 9 plus 3 is nine, 12. That's 3. That'll be 3. Yeah, so... 1 plus 8 plus 3... Plus so. 3... And that leaves four, five, six, seven, seven. But that leaves out. Oh, well, we'd have to include eight if we want to get everyone through the door. That oh, would yeah, leave out loaded. This one. Oh yeah, I was. My brain is starting to fog a little. Sorry. Four plus. Plus seven. I've never done Four. so much math. Oh. I have done more math than this. It's just been a while. God, I hate it, but it seems like she actually might be right. Okay, anyone mm -hmm. with Ace and Lotus is going to be, like, their number. So, if if you put 5 with 1 and 8, that's always going to be 5. If you put 4 with 1 and 8, that's also going to be 4, because 1 plus 8 is 9, and how 9 works. Mm. Uh, I can't help but feel like we're missing something. Other than a whole number. Yeah. Um. Alright. Gonna stop thinking about putting one and eight together, so. Eight. Have we tried eight three four? Eight plus three plus four? Yeah. Eight plus three plus four. That's six. And that's not one of the doors. Mm-mm. Three, seven, and eight are our choices.
Snake, why do you have to be gone? Mm. Bastard. I can't think of anything. Mm. It is possible that we're not meant to get it right this time through. Yeah. Some games have you play other routes before you're able to get a true ending. Or yeah. a satisfying ending. This might be one of those. Or we just have to get it wrong. Yeah. Uh, or at least wrong the, for us. Yeah, as much as I hate to admit it, she's right. At least n for now. Yeah. Who would we leave to the lane? Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. Given us the good old trolley problem. No, that's too cruel! What's so cruel Oh about wait, it? counting the numbers, we're a possibility that we get left behind. Yeah. Fuck. We knew that. Damn it, how could this happen to us? Mm, I don't think we're going to, though. Hmm. To, to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up. What about you, Santa? <laughs> Me? I agree. All right, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Oh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, uh, Man, it's not super up to us. Hey, looks Clover. like. Unless she decides again. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Or the empty door, Lotus. Let's go look for him together, okay? Are you volunteering to be on a team with her? That means that Clover's out for sacrificing. Lotus, that's a very big decision you're making. 
we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me? Right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? Yeah, your number's kind of very versatile. <laughs> Please don't. No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. Also, I wanted to know more about you. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay. But I never said I would sacrifice myself. Good point. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you, once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see... There's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <sighs> Good. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the... Perhaps I'll be able to take mm. a nap. I'm just wondering... Depending on where we are, coming back for him is feasible. Yeah. But... Chris... I mean, it doesn't seem like we're actually on the water. We've never... Nothing's really rocking much, right? Yeah, there... Like... Since the leading theory is we're on the gigantic, which... Is the most probable, considering... I don't think I've ever heard of anything bad happening to that one. Mm -hmm. um, and is it like if we believe that we're on land at least somewhere, it should be possible for us to come back. Yeah. It doesn't seem like we'd have to sail all the way back to like town and then go to, and then find a police box or anything, right? Yeah. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. We do hear this, but... Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven! Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait! All of you! Let's just calm down and think about this. We already ran the numbers, June. I'm sorry. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it. I'll figure it out on my own. Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace, say something! Lethal injection? I'm alright. I'm... You don't know what could be in those bracelets. <laughs> How are you alright? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. 
What does this do? Did... did you use this? Why would you? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. Why would you do that? Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the... hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful. Later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be... using it on... myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace! Hmm? Is there something you want to say? i just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? No! Don't, Ace! Don't fall asleep! Ah. <sighs> You feel warm, so comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! Uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. Ace is the type who takes a fistful of melatonin. I guess. Because, <laughs> like, he did not need to do that. He could have just laid on a cot and closed his eyes, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was thinking, well, I don't have any melatonin. <laughs> ah, anesthesia! Like, there it. <laughs> All I could think was, why would you do that? <laughs> Bro, he wants to take a nap. Did you yes! Why couldn't he just take one? We can't because let this sacrifice go to waste. That's why I needed sleeping drugs. <laughs> right? Jamie doesn't have any Like you even here. mean that. Yeah. He must get Dude, so he should have went up to the first class cabin first. Yeah, why did he go up to the cabins? You say something? No, nothing. June Bay, haven't you learned your lesson about talking shit? Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. Okay. Your next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? Um, all right. I kind of go with... Well, now it's a hard choice. I mean, I don't necessarily want to feed into the distrusting of any characters but it might be good to keep an eye on lotus but also i'm very yeah. curious about seven waking up without m remembering anything before he was kidnapped that's strange yeah <laughs> we can split the party further <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in seven or eight. I want to go to three. Yeah, um, just mess everybody up. If we choose that, they're probably going to be like, well, then the math doesn't work out, dick nuts. Choose yeah. the other two. Yeah, they'll probably just insult us. Yeah. Um. And even then, I think there's a dumb way to do this. What do you mean? I think, like... I think they should have just like figured out their, their digital roots first to find out the pop genes, like we kind of did, looking for that. Mm, yeah, they're kind of just making us do it. I think is yeah. the gameplay part of the game. Uh, even or odd. Ah, uh, I can. I'll, I was just gonna roll a six side. Yeah, even I guess. It was odd. We're going with seven. Cool. They're both equally compelling, I think, so I thought that would just be easiest, you know? Yeah. 
I... I think... I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay. Seven it is. Yeah. Alright then. That means <laughs> June's gotta go through eight. What? Why? So that's how math that. works. <laughs> what? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Or three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. There are no other combinations. Unless we factor in door three, but I guess we're not doing that. In other words, yeah. three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no. You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. That's I mean, how long it takes us to do puzzles. yeah, we just have to get to the ends of door seven and eight, and then we'll see each other again in the, wherever that leads, baby. Yeah, because then we have another choice our last to make. Two doors let us here, so. Yeah. And I mean, they have to at some point. We have to meet up in order to get different combinations. Because if we were yeah. stuck with our same groups for too long, then we wouldn't be able to get through the next doors, whatever they may be. Yeah. So we'll see each other again real soon. Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? Yeah, except this time we're not together. We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? They have to be. Yeah, they have probably. to be, or else this the whole game wouldn't fucking work. Hmm. Probably. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. You know, for this game's host, he sure doesn't- he's sure not talkative. You'd think he'd check on, in on us by the time we got here, right? Yeah, he's a- he's a very hands-off host for this. Mm. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna see each other again. I promise. Well, now we've promised. One second. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I think I'm gonna name this VOD Difficult Choices. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. You guys ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. I wonder. We may have to go through the game multiple times if we want to see the true ending like we it's did with, open. Similar to what we did with Yuppie Psycho. Which, eh. comparatively, honestly shouldn't be too hard. Because we have yeah. the flow here. <laughs> yeah, it's also just gonna be, like, <laughs> like listening to some different, like, uh, like, takes for a bit. Yeah. So I don't feel too bad about that. Yeah. But you know. And since they're all different choices, we're not gonna, like, have the answer each time. It's gonna be, like, more shit, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's not like it's, it's not like we aren't seeing any new content. It won't be boring to have to do it all again. Yeah. To get different endings. Especially since this one isn't even really a major choice comparatively. Yeah. Looking at it, we go right back onto that main path and two more choices. So I wonder. 
And they're all rather linear, regardless. Like, for a splitting timeline, that's very organized. Mm. Let's do this! Yeah, let's do this, Seven. Hurry! <sighs> June. Go, Junpei. Jumpy. 81 seconds. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? <laughs> Blur. Only 81 seconds left. Less. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Look, the door on the left. I can see the dead. Great. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. <sighs> Good eyes, Clover. Yeah. <sighs> oh. oh. Whew. Okay. If okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you laugh like that last time too, Seven? This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but I can understand the giddy. Whew. You never really get used to it. <laughs> well, I don't think you would. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. <laughs> That's sexual harassment. <laughs> You're what? just being me. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> say it again. I dare you. <laughs> I'm saying I thought you would have had a real fat ball. <laughs> you <sighs> have no. You little. You want to die? Listen. Do you want to get off this ship and then immediately be a felon? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you try. You're I know Mar I know maritime laws. She, yeah, she's tiny, but she's real scrabbly. <laughs> Very quick. Honestly, these two in a fighting game, they'd be each other's worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you have trouble grabbing them, but when you do, they're done. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking brat. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for... This. It's not gonna do us any good. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Wait here for a minute, alright? I'm gonna go see if there are any other doors. We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. Why are you the ambassador? Get it? Cause he goes off he went off alone to get There's a short hallway on the <laughs> left. <here>. <laughs> 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 what the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. This door's the only option we've got, right? <laughs> the blue over here, he'd laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. It was. Um, hey, well, something's nice written on the door. On that iron plate. It says operating room. Mm. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Well, <laughs> this is probably not going to be pleasant. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Well, we went this far without seeing a corpse. Uh, what's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Unlike Dongan Rampa. <laughs> huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? I was a gonna say that. The operating room. I was gonna say Dung and Rampa was a real corpse party, but those are different games. <laughs> hey, crossover <Clover>. when? <laughs> uh, did you see a body? I hope so. Clover. Hey, what's wrong? What? The oh, it's hell a fucking mannequin. Yeah. Is. Is this a you corpse? fucking baby? No, it's not a corpse, Junpei. We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. <laughs> look at the fucking joints. This mm. is. Ah oh, man, hell? look at that human. That's just a this huge is gonna doll be the, or something. This is gonna be the worst game of Operation ever. <laughs> yeah, there's only one thing. A uh, doll? <sighs> You're right. It's only a doll. Man. It really scared me. We could tell. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. 
<laughs> what does that mean? Shut it! Don't you start with me, fatty! Hey! Both of you! <laughs> What's this? You want a piece of me, short stuff? And I thought Lotus and Santa were aggressive! <laughs> yeah, God. bring it on, you whale! Oh, man. This is starting to, starting to wish you chose the other door. God, yeah. Suck. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lotus and Santa were like shifty at times with how they say shit. Oh, yeah. God, you guys are just fucking violent. <laughs> yeah. Lotus and Santa were mean. You guys are violent. <laughs> hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. <sighs> like babe, this is babysitting. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty Jeez. sure she was like, "All right, let's go babysit these weirdos." <laughs> Thank goodness. Though, to be honest, these two argue more like siblings <laughs> than they like these two seem more like siblings than a Clover and Snake were. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. Maybe when they were, like, investigating together, they got on each other's nerves in the last, like, room that they were in. Yeah. I'm talking about a heart. <laughs> Damn. Thanks. Uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where the heart is. Well, he could be wearing it on his sleeve. a heart and a doll? <laughs> I don't think it's a doll. Yeah, it's a mannequin. Think maybe it's like a medical mannequin or something? Yeah, an under detailed medical one. Mannequin. Medical mannequin. Medical mannequin. Yeah, proud of that one? What? Proud of that one? It sounded like you were yeah. doing like a tongue twister. No, I just like saying it because it's both started with M. <laughs> they both sound like with M and they have like a hard K in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Or like toward the end, I guess. Or maybe it's got more personal uses. That's the creepiest <laughs> sex doll ever. Seven, that would be... <laughs> oh, that suck. Look that would be the thing. creepiest one ever. <laughs> anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. <laughs> okay. Worse. What's your thing? Mm. Like, that would get your jimmies going? Is that what you like, Seven? Okay, there are a few other ones to check. Seek a way out. Hmm. Okay. I see. Ooh. Guess we should check the check out our old buddy here first, huh? Yeah. Ah, uh, looks like the. Hmm. Like his platform raises. Yeah, seems like. That's interesting. Mm, I'll try checking out the bed specifically too. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's a spring lock thing. So if you touch it, it just launches it through the fucking ceiling. <laughs> um, these dolls are really kind of creepy, you know. Hey, it says something. Here. I'll I'll take you. Oh, okay. You think that's the doll's name? Maybe. This thing is creepy. Wonder what's on the bed. Mm. <laughs> is that all we got for him? A creepy medical mannequin flying in the bed. Apparently, his name is John. Uh, I guess let's check. Yeah. yeah. An operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? I have no idea. I guess the box part two? That didn't highlight? Yeah. Mm. Hey. I wonder what this thing is. It says Kig on the display. Oof, excuse me. Hmm. You think it may be the scale? I just wanted to make sure, because that looked similar to a lever, so... There's also this tarp. A white cloth. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Okay. Uh, I guess let's go right. 
Maybe you know he'll get think, a little closer. Hmm? I think it would be a good thing if on the map, like it shows you your current camera position, but I think it would be good if it also showed the possible camera positions. Yeah. Like it's like a little white dot you could just click on and then instantly move there. Mm. I do think it would help with the flow of everything. Mm. They use these for surgery, right? Let's see, syringes, cups, the plates. There's a sort of scissorish thingy. Search your fort <laughs> Could at least wash them off. <laughs> Are those scissors? I think they're rusty. I hope they to God that's rust. <laughs> <laughs> they look kind of funny. Nah, that's probably a pair of poacher forceps. Surgeons use during operations. They can hold blood vessels shut or keep the tissue out of the way. We can use it to pull stuff out of small holes or something like that. Alright. Uh, any others? I'm just searching for tools. Yeah, I'm gonna put. God, I wish Discord would show me your mouse. I wonder if I can set it to... Mm, like capture mouse or something? Mm. I clicked all over the table and I don't see anything else, but we can always come back and check again. Yeah, if, if we... Yeah, an inkling. Yeah, let's try this again. <clears throat> the tart. <laughs> oh, we did see a body, uh, uh, uh like, while we, it was cycling mm. through the shots. We did see a yeah. torso. So I guess I we're gonna have them. to play yeah, over on the left hand table. Le left table. Like on that table on the center left of the room. I assume that's the table. Another medical mannequin? From the looks of this, this one's a chick. She has a name too. Lucy. Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and left arm. All she needs, am I right? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to gather all her parts. Lucy's head and left arm are sitting on the bed. Maybe something will happen if we gather all of her body parts. There's some kind of device attached to the bed. It says pig on the panel. Is this a scale? Likely. Uh, and the bed itself. This bed doesn't look very comfortable. I guess not. What's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. I'm gonna see if I can show you my mouse real quick. Now I'm curious. Doesn't look like I can though. Options, no. Alright, that was a short lived experiment. Come on, video game. Show me your face. Oh no, it's going through the text! <laughs> I guess I wait or something. I can see your background. Yeah, isn't it great? Yeah. <sighs> ah, I love technologically. Yeah, it's great.
Hmm. So that's the cursor. I can see it now. Not when it matters. Yeah. I don't know if this game auto saves. I don't think it does. Hmm. I can see my mouse moving around on Streamlabs as I'm moving it on the game. Is it really I capturing on stream right now? At least the cursor is, like, that all looks good. And also, now I can see the cursor on Discord, but it, and it's still the game cursor, though. Yeah, it's capturing on stream, so for them, nothing's really happened. Yeah. Because it doesn't want to show to me. Alright. Well, I, I could just use it to get up to the menu. Gamer strats. All right. Uh, when it opens the menu, it doesn't show up on stream. <laughs> God, this is the weirdest way for it to have broken. Yeah. I don't remember where the save thing was along the bottom. Alright, if I open up our past stream, I can go to where I'd gone in the menu there. What if you press the start key while you're tabbed in on... Uh... 999. Start key? Like the uh, Windows Home button? Uh. It takes me out of the game. And then click back to it? No. No. Damn it. Ah! I just do this over and over. Or now I'm in the menu. Hmm. What would that oh. have been? Now, is that the save or the? Low. That sounds like a save. Yeah. But I don't know if it was saying yes, I saved it or confirming that I said no. God, that would be... So. <sighs> Okay, that advanced text. I'm gonna choose to think that, that was a confirmation of saving. So that's what it sounded like. Yeah. And I believe that when I load into the save thing, it 
goes in on no and I hit the up key and it doesn't go back around. So I guess this is Nin's detective work. Let's see if this I'm works. Gonna pray. Mm. If not, I can just skip through. Most likely. Yeah. Visual novels tend to have a way of skipping through things that it's registered you'd seen before in some way or another. And if not, then I'll just keep hitting space. <laughs> Alright, game. Technical difficulties. Techno babble difficulties. Come on, game, load up. You usually come in faster than that. Oh, wait, you did. It's just that you didn't come to the front like programs usually do. C deck operating room. I'm so fucking smart. Sick. I need to see. Oh, maybe that's what these are. Maybe that's for the true ending. In which case, it seemed likely that we have to do multiple endings. The um, question marks at the top. Maybe we need to get a password. I, I still need to see. Discord. Yep. I don't know. You gotta give me like five seconds to load in. Hopefully, I'll be able to see. Alright. Yay! I don't know what they said before. Uh, it seems like we're still on the same conversation. Yeah, so... I just don't know what she's responding to. I think Seven's just asking Wait. what it was. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, what is this guy's short little legs? Uh, maybe it's a heater? Oh, there's nothing inside of it. Ah, cool. Right. Torso! Uh, with a missing heart. Mmm. Ew, that's gross! This is the chest. It's a woman's chest. Heart's gone, but it's pretty at Seven, are you a serial killer? Dude, this is... If that kind of thing turns you on, Seven, you're a real creep, though. Honestly. Like, this is the least sexy thing. Yeah. It's so dirty. Yeah. <laughs> it's so dirty. Dirty and low resolution. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill the bacteria? There's a boiling thingy over there. There's nothing on the lid or in the drawers. A thing for boiling tools to sterilize them. There's nothing in the drawer. And real quick, alright. The drawer is empty. Yeah, nothing here. There are a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. They've got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. And there's a lot of different kinds of medication. It's hard to tell them apart. That's a lot of medicine. What if one of these relaxes? Yeah, it sounds kind of gross, but I'm pretty sure every one of us has had the same idea. If we had some laxatives, and maybe we could crap up the bombs Lero put in us. Unfortunately. Damn it. I don't know what medicine does what here. They have the medicine up there without the side effects listed? Irresponsible. Uh, you can only see this top from here, so... Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Alright. We got a skinless buddy over there. Mm. Okay, I can go back here. Because if I have a these doors. The yeah. pleperation room. <laughs> Platypus room? <laughs> it's locked. We can probably find the key if we just look around some more. Let's look somewhere else. And 
What about this thing? Oh, it's chemical. Two doors. Mm. Fuck. Looks like it's locked. Guess we're gonna need a key for this one. And, uh, what about this? No. I might what about double this? No? Them. What? Junpei, where are you going? That's the door we came in through. The only thing out there is the numbered door. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you if the numbered door is a one way deal. So. You're saying there's no point in going back there, huh? And they're nodding. Awesome. <laughs> That's a lot of surgery stuff. Some scalpels, a few pairs of forceps, a couple of syringes. All of it's too rusty to be useful, though. Yeah, I thought so. This is a rusty probably. Hey, there's a scalpel here that looks new. Does it? If that's the one you're talking about, are you sure this looks new? And it's so thick for a scalpel. This is for murdering. <laughs> it's actually a razor. <laughs> a scalpel that's not rusty. Ah, cool, so that is blood. <laughs> Seems like it was put here for a reason, huh? You think it's telling us to cut something? Yeah, I do. Like you! Ah! <laughs> Alright. None of this other stuff looks useful. Yeah, it's all pretty rusty. You think we'll have to sterilize them, maybe? Yeah, boil them. Yeah. I don't know, like, what would... Like, we legitimately need them to be sterilized for, because we wouldn't be operating on anyone, but... That... Uh, this whole thing seems like a lab play. Yeah. So that'd be the reason, I suppose. Just to do our play effectively is definitely a possibility. I haven't seen water, though. Yeah. That's the one thing that we're missing. A medical mannequin with its gut showing. Ew. Gross. Hey, Junpei. Slit in this thing's chest. Mm -hmm. We finished the job? Yeah, sure is. Something in there. Maybe we can get it out. Ugh. Damn it. Stick it thin will budge. We have a scalpel. It's stuck. Should we cut it? Well, I guess you can't use force on this one, then. We need something small that can fit into that little hole. Okay, the scissors, then. Yeah, forceps. So you took the organ thingy out of the chest thingy. It's a lung, not an organ thingy. So anyway, the organ thingy. <laughs> huh? This part here on the back, it's all rubbery. You're right. So, it's a fake organ. Of course it'd be- wait, what's Seven grabbing it for? Hey, feels like there's something in here. You think you can cut through the rubber part? Ah, come by! Right, so, yeah. Let's try cutting this organ with a scalpel. Key! <laughs> organ key! <laughs> there's a key in this organ. Found a key in internal organ. I keep on thinking about, like, you know, musical organ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I wanna look at that cavity real quick. I don't think that the key fits in there. I'm not sure, yeah. like, how big it is, but since it has a slit, I might wanna try it, you know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, try looking for one of those doors. Mm. Cause it seems like right. we've gotten all we can from here. Yeah, we've spun around the room now. So... Let's try the pleperation room first. Cool, it's unlocked. Hooks. Hmm. No? Okay. Key, so that's interesting. Maybe hmm, it also maybe unlocks it the other both? door. Yeah, skeleton yeah. key. 
Even though it's an organ key. Ha 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 ha. Look at the room. Just sinks and stuff. Uh, let's check this dresser. Let's see if... Hmm. Piece of paper. What's this? Is this some kind of medical record? Looks more like a, um... An autopsy. Like... Yeah, that would kill. That would count. Yeah. But a new Just like with the bodies. It looks like, you know, where they draw your fucking death marks. Yeah. Uh, File. Um, a medical record found in the preparation room. It has records for the two mannequins. There's a male mannequin named John and a female named Lucy. The record shows each mannequin's total weight and the weight of their individual parts. And if we click off, I imagine you can see the in the background. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. Saw her hearts, two kids. Alright. You <laughs> see, John's heart is heavier because he's got sins. <laughs> Let's make sure to refer to this frequently. Yeah. Oh. A cabinet with a drawer in it. Ah. What the hell are you doing? You want to get out of here? But I'm tired. Hmm. Oh. I see. So we have to put something in there. There's a ray of light going through the beaker. And it's hitting the thing on the right. <laughs> I found a beaker. Nice. Mm. There are four different lights, each one a different color. White, red, blue, and purple. Does this thing react to something and then the lights light up? Yes. I did the thing before. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Oh, uh, before I check that door, I want to check the side of the room. Yeah. So... Same colors. Hmm. Won't open. Looks like it's locked. There's a red plate on it. Do you think that means something? No. Mm -mm. Damn. Not opening. Locked, of course. Blue plate on here seems a little suspicious, though. Damn. It's not opening. Won't even budge. It's got this purple plate on it, too. None of them were talking to each other. That's why they all they had to all say it. it yeah. <laughs> they all did it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> a sink. Doctor and nurse probably washed their hands here, hands here before an operation. Nothing suspicious here. But what if there is? Alright, okay. what about the mirror? <laughs> the sink doesn't look suspicious. <laughs> it's locked. Won't even budge. Do you think this is the exit? What's this? That switch? Uh, doesn't seem to be working. I don't remember what planet that's for. What? But it is familiar. Is that... It just looks like a 21 to me. More like a 4 with a really short bottom line. Also, is another one. Anyway, well, what planets uh, have, are we missing? Let me look up the symbols. Mm. I wonder if I can click on that specifically. Uh, uh, there's a oh, lock that's on Jupiter. The mm. There's a lock on the door. The key I've got won't open it. Yeah. Unfortunately, none of the people here this time are really yeah. into that stuff, I don't think. Well. Clover might be, but I don't think so. I don't think she's said it before, has she? Well, she's uh, mentioned it 
She's mentioned that she saw the same symbols on doors before. I don't yeah, remember if she knew what they were until um, and June Snake said Snake so. identified. Oh, Snake also identified a Jupiter. Yeah, yeah, he identified a Jupiter symbol. So I wonder. So that's, that's two Jupiters. We... Mm. I wonder if that's the other side of a room that he went into or something similar. Mm. Also, you know, now looking looking at it on this chart, I can see the four, but there it definitely yeah. looks. Like yeah, there's 21. the twenty-one. There's the twenty-one. It says when I when I see that one, I usually think four, because I used to write my four is all big. <laughs> awesome! It's unlocked. Ooh. All right, that's a doors medicine. All right, let's check this box first. One all iron, right. two salt, wa three water. There's a note on top of the table. Iron equals one, salt equals two, water equals three. Well, I'm taking notes. Taking notes. a screenshot. All right, okay. Salt equals two, water equals three. Uh, carbon dioxide, ammonia, ethanol, all unknown. Ew. What do you think this is a hint for? Maybe it's got something to do with this box? Probably. The box is locked. Looks like you have to enter a passcode on the keypad to open it. I can only... Yeah, I can only enter three numbers. E is for enter and C is for clear. And put the number, press E. If you mess up, press C. Let's give it a shot. You're gonna let me? Huh. Okay. So, so I guess it's just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to look around and find, like, like add up numbers, I guess. Yeah. Or... Let's check these bottles first. Red liquid. Chug. Uh, it looks like there's something inside that bottle. I'm gonna try to force something out to his cat. Craig, are you always away from your mic at all? Yeah, sorry. You're right. It's a little quiet. Why don't you try pouring some out into the cat? Can't see any reason why not. What's that? It's bright red. Fake blood. Do you think it's blood? No, blood sicker than that. Then what is it? Beats me. We could try wafting the smell toward us, like in science class. Chug, 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 chug. Oh. Blue liquid. Uh, it looks like there's something inside that bottle. And I same. Try some of the cap, man. <laughs> Don't know why not. <laughs> What's that? It's bright blue. Do you think it's alien blood? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where the hell did that come from? Then what do you think it is, Seven? I don't know. Some sort of special bath soap? <sighs> what a boring guess. Oh. More right. realistic. <laughs> Still weird, but more realistic. Boring. <laughs> hey, Junpei. There's dihydrogen monoxide on the shelf. Oh yeah, put that in my hands. <laughs> uh, why don't you just say water? All right, so now we can we have water. We might be able to boil later. Yeah. Uh, we didn't take it. Uh, anything else? Bottle of water on the shelf. The label says H2O. And then I guess uh, the middle. Hmm? Something stinks. Is it coming from this bottle? It says NH3. Of course that stinks. It's ammonia. I want to take that one down because I don't... I want to make sure to remember that. NH3 equals ammonia. And, uh, can I look at that slip? Uh, a rectangular table. I wonder, did people mix medicine on this thing? 
Yeah. Iron equals one, salt two, water equals three, carbon dioxide, ammonia. Okay, so we do need to take note of the ammonia, probably. Well, look at the first line. Maybe a question mark that represents the number? Yeah, we know. It's just, what number? <laughs> hmm. Uh, salt is... Um... Let's take a look at the periodic table. While, yeah, while you're talking. Just judging from how this thing is going, like, if water is three, that's H2O. That's three things. And I'm pretty sure iron is just iron, Fe, and I'm pretty sure salt is also two things together. Yes. So, I would imagine that's also going to be the way the carbon dioxide, ammonia, and ethanol will go. What is ammonia's periodic symbol? Let's look for that. Well, well, no, ammonia is a combination, so it wouldn't be on there, right? I don't know. That's why I'm looking it up. Because it's been a while since chemistry. Yeah, but, uh, because I think they just said NH3 was ammonia? Mm. Yeah. So here, let me let me write this down because this will be ethanol my best. symbol. Well, let's keep checking around the room. It might be in here. Give me a sec. Writing something down. Something else. I just want to have the. Uh... There's really only ammonia on that shelf. Alright. Junpei, there's a bottle of iron pop uh, of iron powder on the shelf. Uh how do you know it's iron? The label says F E. E. F E stands for iron, right? Hey, Junpei, do you think there are any plugs on this ship? Huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on them. What's she pointing at? The label states NAC1. Uh, L. C L R. Salt, huh? You think Seven will shovel up if we put it on him? Ooh, that's mean. <laughs> hey. You say something? Auto salt on the shelf, label says NACL. What's this? Looks like a can with a spray nozzle. It says CO2. Uh, so it's a can filled with carbon dioxide. Fe, it's a molecule with only one atom. All right, like five. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, um, have we tried all the shelves? Uh. <laughs> so HTO must be made of two. All right, yeah, like I thought. It's looking like so far. Um, seven. Is your head? Okay. I have checked, I think, all- well, let's see, let's see. Did I get this bottom one? Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Let's go for a drink. Uh, what are you talking about? Talk about that bottle. It said C2H5OH, right? Ethanol. That's right. It's also known as Ethylene uh, alcohol. Oh. It's pretty much what booze is made out of. I don't think you want to drink it straight, though. Yeah. So, you're gonna drink it? 
Nah, I won't. Might say that's what's on the label, but there could be anything in there. Uh, Hila, can you pull that one back up? I already have it. Okay. Uh, C2H5LH. Uh, and we checked the bottom right shelf, right? Mm-hmm. I've checked all the shelves in the room now, I think, but... One. And we can double check them and then they'll give us a hint. And a sodium CL chloride. So salt is made up of one sodium atom and one chloride atom. Yep. Yeah. So, so let's do see I need to find the one? In ethanol. So we could also look at their symbol, but they'll probably tell us. Okay, so let, I, let me read the thing. C is carbon, H is oxygen, O is oxygen. It didn't say before, that's why. <laughs> so basically, ethanol is made of two carbon atoms. Six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Yeah, we could also just look at the makeup of the thing. It says two. And... I don't need to explain. I'm just gonna look at the... The, Two, six, one. Look at what? The actual, like, thing and then add it up myself, but clicked on it again and then they just explained it for us. Yeah, that was the, that was what I was going to do. You didn't say that you wanted to work it out, you just said, let's see what it was made of. So I thought I'd skip to that. I thought that we were just doing that. Need to look at what she said. One zero. Hmm. What did they say ammonia was? Three. And yeah, so that's four things. Mm -hmm. NH three. And this nitrogen, H and hydrogen. One nitrogen atom, three hydrogen. I'm not sure if this gives us the answer here, though. So our yes. four missing numbers are... Three missing are, numbers? Yeah. Uh, uh, not yeah, four. Yeah, whatever. Our three missing numbers are three, four, and... What was the last one? That was... Oh, three, four, and... Three, four, and... Three, four, and... Seven, nine. Okay. And these have got a keypad on what we're obviously get. So, carbon dioxide was 3, ammonia was 4, and nine. Hopefully it's in order of what's there. Arm! And a heart! And a heart. It's the right arm of the body. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. There's something in the box. Yeah? A heart. This thing is super creepy. This ain't good for the heart. Not yet. Yeah, I guess we'll set it down and then we'll put it in. Maybe it's a transplant. <laughs> uh, oh, we still have the weight thing too, because it counted their heart's weights as well. Yeah. So you might not want to combine them too quickly. You think we should go back? I don't yeah, know. I think that's probably best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Seven, what's up? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. See, I actually ended up drinking the, eth the ethanol. <laughs> is, is that a medicine bottle? I got curious about it. Here. Ethylene diamine tartrate? Okay. Yeah, that's right. CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean mm. what up? Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. You remember something? Yeah. 
Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But a year after the factory started up, something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Another one. Even ones nowhere near that first American factory. They'd been making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. We didn't hear the stories fact, from June or Lotus. No factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even an EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just spread. It was like, how do you say it? Like the molecules were communicating with one another, transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive. This phenomena spread throughout the world, right? Yeah, that's... that's it exactly. But how did you know? I heard another story, uh, kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. What? The freezer? Yeah, June told me. Hmm. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? That sounds familiar? Yeah, hold up. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. Do you? Know something about it or know about Ice Nine? Might be good to bring up the name, maybe? But I'm wondering if we prompt him and he says something different, that would be interesting, though. Mm. Or if he brings the name up himself, too. Yeah. It's a question of like, either jogging his memory or seeing how much he actually knows, I guess. Or like how much he's able to recall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think either of these could be wrong. Yeah. So I kind of want to see if we can test him a little, you know? Okay. Know something about it? I told you I think I do. Just hold on. Don't get aggressive. Uh, it was... Uh. Damn it! Mm. Why'd you have to ask me some dumbass question? I totally lost my train of thought. Would you have reacted the same way if we asked the other question? Would that have lost your train of thought? Mm. <sighs> Sorry, man. Hey, what are you two doing over there? I do want to see. Can I? That's all the way back here. You guys ready? <laughs> Oh, wait, did I? Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can Let's we go. fast forward? Let's see. We had uh, the next choice. That that makes it's sense. open. Let's do this. Hurry. <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell? What does the key in the right hand thing do? Right, like. Bottom hand side. Only nope. bottom hand side. Like where it says stop and the then that button. Uh, I already tried clicking that. I think it's just an auto, but it's. <sighs> <sighs> Might not even be an auto. It stopped. Yeah, it stopped. Uh, ice. It keeps going when I click. <laughs> this is the and even if it's an auto, it'll play all of their voice lines. Hey, it's not gonna... before it skips through. Uh, wait here. As opposed to me just we hitting just space a lot. A and an... This door. Yeah. Hey, on that. Up. It says if this. Well, well, might as well. <sighs> What's wrong? No, it, let's just. Huh? What the hell? Is... Why don't? Hey. <laughs> what? Clover. Hey. Hey, wait. What? Press this control is... twice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay. 
Okay, okay. Hmm? If you look in the right hand, the bottom side now, and now it says skip, so I guess control changes how the text moves. Alright. I've only seen that with shift in visual novels, but this is adapted from a different console. Yeah, this was for the DS. Mm. Alright, let's fast forward. We already... This won't work with that because yeah. it's prompted text. I know, I'm just meaning, like, let's just work all through this. Yeah. We don't, we already know. Uh, And did I... Yeah. Uh, let's not forget to grab the forceps. Mm -hmm. Let's just go to this room first since we got something from here. Yeah. Uh, we could, let's just grab the things and then <laughs> we'll just cheat because we know the answer. I don't consider that cheating. We worked it through before. <laughs> won't combine oh. yet. Yeah. And, uh, and we don't really we... need to look over this room for those. Yeah. You think we should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Hmm? Alright. Hey, Seven, what's up? We can try oh. asking the other question it's... now. Uh, yeah. Ethylene diamine. Yeah, that's right. What kind of... It's not... Why would they... Well, probably to... Oh, those. they registered that we asked him that, though. That's interesting. Yeah, don't forget to switch it back but to mm. normal, like, mm. mode so it doesn't skip all the rest. Yeah. Ice Nine. Do you know about Ice Nine? Ice Nine? Ice Nine. He didn't get mad this time. Ice, ice, ice. That's it. I remember now. All right. That woman, she's on this boat. That woman? That woman. Alice! Who? Oh, who's Alice? <laughs> Come on, the woman who won't melt at room temperature. Why are you saying that like I know what that means? Huh? Yeah, man, that doesn't... You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, Ah, uh, okay. Right? So like how the Titanic was carrying a mummy, the Gigantic had its own extra passenger? Mm. Yeah. More than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. Mm -hmm. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Uh, I think that was the RMS Carpathia, right? How do you know that? <laughs> do ja right do Japanese people have better history lessons than we do? Now nah, about... they're going Wikipedia um... a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they just do Wikipedia searches. You ever see that, like... Screenshots from that one anime where that lady's yes. talking about her Wikipedia searches. I haven't, but that sounds like a fun anime. Yeah, it seems fun. Because she goes like, oh yeah, I, I learned that the bulldog is a marine symbol. It's like, <laughs> And the way she got through it was a bunch of bullshit, like tank, 
something, <laughs> something fetus, something, something, and then to bulldog or something <laughs> like that. I can't remember. The only it was thing just, that like, very realistic. <laughs> the only thing that connects all of the people in the nunnery game is that they all were quiz bowl champions. <laughs> 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 That's why they know so much freaking trivia. <laughs> Nonary game, but it's just a trivia game in a fucking yeah. shitty diner. <laughs> Zero's the host. <laughs> That's what this is. This is just an overblown trivia game. It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. The... No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. The ninth guy, he cheated. That's why he kicked, got kicked out. <laughs> The ship that collected the dead bodies was the C.S. McKay Bennett. Was I supposed to know about this? I'm asking. <laughs> the McKay Bennett showed up on All April right, 17, so that two days out? after the accident. Mm. It set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. <laughs> the Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be for there to be icebergs and stuff. Indeed. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. Okay, wait. So is this that boat or is this the gigantic? This should the gigantic was a medical boat and that was supposedly a cruise line. I guess those aren't really technically mutually exclusive in boat terms though. Yeah. Hmm. Well here, let's keep going. It might have yeah. been This isn't a very nice story. So what <laughs> happened next? <laughs> well they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things the drowned had carried with them, or stuff that dislodged as the ship sank. One of the things they found was a coffin. A coffin? Yeah, a wooden one. The craftsman who made it must have been pretty skilled. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood. No nails, no reinforcements, no gaps in the wood anywhere. The thing was airtight. The crew got pretty curious about what might be inside it and opened it up. They had to get a wedge and hammer it open and so on. Inside, they found a woman. A woman. Or, I guess you should say they found the dead body of a woman. Her hair was thick and black, and her skin rich brown with no blemishes or signs of decomposition. Oh, are you right in your spare time, Seven? They say that she looked gorgeous, like a goddess. She was obviously dead, but everyone who looked at her said she just looked like she was sleeping. Her skin was so lifelike, she looked like she might wake up any minute. And she didn't, though. Like the rest of the bodies they found, she was frozen solid. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching and returned to Halifax. The 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. They say that the stink was horrible. But there was one body that didn't thaw. And that was... The girl in the coffin. That's right. Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them eventually. But weeks passed and nothing happened. And a month passed. And another. It was summer, and she was still frozen solid. After a while, people started to say she was some sort of miracle. Rumors about her started to spread. People came to visit Halifax from all over. And after a while, people started to call her all ice. Mm -hmm. Alice. Of course, those rumors didn't last long. Why? Well, she up and disappeared. One day Alice was there, the next day she wasn't. They say someone snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. With the body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. After a while, no one remembered her. You might be able to find something about her if you could find a newspaper from back then, but that's about it. Wait, you just said that she was on this boat. Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on this ship. Now, why the hell would you say something like that? Because I know. <laughs> and just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen? <laughs> Wait, sorry, did I sorry. miss something? Just because you know? Sorry, Wait. <laughs> All right. Huh? Tell me, what happened to Alice? Well, 
Around that time, the word was that there was a special black market in New York. All millionaires from all over the world. I've heard that Alice went up for auction there. The person who won the auction was Lord Dashiell yes. Gordain. Yeah. <laughs> Same man. You've heard that name before, right? Lord Gordain. Because he wanted everything from that. That's such a Oh, isn't he the guy who bought the gigantic? The Titanic sister ship? Yeah, that's him. Although I guess he hadn't done that yet. What do you mean? Gordain bought Alice in 1912. Four years later, in 1916, he bought the Gigantic. And he hit Alice somewhere on the Gigantic. But nobody knows where. He died in 1931. And apparently, he died without ever telling anyone where Alice was hidden. However... However... what? Well, he did have one close friend who asked him, Where is Alice? And he said, Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the Forest of Knowledge beneath the navel of the Gigantic. Library of some sort? Uh, yeah, I imagine, but also, man, if someone just like said all that wordy bullshit to that simple question, it'd be like, man, you're weird, man. I guess in the 1930s, people were a little more poetic. What the hell is that? Is it some kind of riddle? Your guess is as good as mine. So that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the gigantic. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this ship. Hmm. Hey! What are you two doing over there? Talking about some frozen lady. Stop wasting time and get over here! Okay, okay, we're coming. I wonder how much of history this game just makes up. Because a lot of the things they say are compelling. Yeah. But at the same time, you'd think that Ice Nine and that Glycerin story would come up in a chemistry class, right? Hmm. Jeez. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's the story. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. Alice. Huh. I know there was a mummy aboard the Titanic, but I don't think Alice is real. That, that mummy, mummy wasn't, wasn't just, just a normal, normal mummy. mummy. They, they say. say that she was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. Then was that Egyptian priestess, Alice? Did the water in her body become Ice Nine? No, that, that's nuts. There's no way somebody like that could exist. Alright, um... Yes, we could. Nothing in the drawer. Hmm. Do you have any leads on what to do next? Uh... Where is the... Where's the file? Uh, we there didn't it. get it yet. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Where was it? It was in the other room. Yeah. Also, I decided to look Ice Nine up, and, uh, it's a real thing. Okay. And... Uh... So, that, that's interesting. Mm. So I'm, I'm still reading about it, so. Ooh, it's a lot. Okay. Male man named Don, female named Lucy. Total weight and the weight of the individual parts. Mm. Oh. Oh. Right. Then there's this. Yeah. I imagine some did just the red and blue liquid we got. Hmm. 
light flame up? Uh, item. Well, this one's That's... the red liquid. Let's try it. Yeah. Let's turn on the light. Mm -hmm. Yep, red light turns on. Hey, it turned red. Forget about that. Didn't hear that just now? Oh, then I imagined the red door. Okay, so we take it out. Aha. Yeah, the red light's on. Are we able to go check the door? <laughs> Well, it didn't seem like the sound happened again, so maybe now it's just unlocked. Open. Yeah. Oop. Double click. Leg. Leg. Hey, leg. Hmm. What? Guess it's a right. woman. Yeah. I guess it's a woman, but damn, doesn't that, <laughs> doesn't look hot at all. The fact that you found any of the other parts hot is a mystery. Have you got a thing for feet? No, that's crazy. Seven has a thing for feet. You're sure acting kind of shady. Anything on her foot? No. Alright, uh, uh, let's blue. put in the blue. And... and then I'm gonna guess we have to mix them for the purple. Yeah. It's blue now. I think I heard another noise. It was put in the red right. I wanna. I don't know if, the, if, like, all the doors stay unlocked if the other ones aren't. Let's try that first. Alright. Because, like, we don't know if we can open all of them once, you know? And... I get it. That's a pretty purple. Combine the red liquid and the blue liquid which make a purple one. Yes, Seven. That's exactly what happened. Good job, Junpei! The purple light came on and I heard it unlock. I'm sure it's unlocked. The locker with the purple plate has got to be unlocked. Alright, let's see what happens. It ends up not being unlocked. Nothing on this foot. This is the left foot of the mannequin. Do you think I'm better? What? Uh, what? Do you think my legs are skinnier? That's not really a beauty standard anymore. Oh, and there's the yeah. stomach. Whoa. <laughs> it kind of looks like a nose. Yeah. This is a really big nose. <laughs> That's no nose. It's a stomach. Oh. A stomach. Wasn't very <laughs> excited about that one. I see. Oh, um, let's go fix up. Yeah. I just... What table do you think we're gonna... Uh, I mean, her first part was on this, but... I don't know if well, I can I put the it's gonna be on, on, uh, on John's gonna, table? No, where she is. Like, where she under is. The, oh, under wow. the tarp, yeah. Um... Let's start with... Okay. I've already started. I want to get the text through. So you collected the six parts of the medical mannequin. So the one we've got must be for Lucy, right? Yeah. Seems like it. Well, I say we give Lucy her parts back. Any objections? Nope. Agreed. Alright, let's get started. Combine! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nothing happened. That's odd. Maybe it's on weight? Wait? Uh, yeah, well, you know how there's a scale on the side of the bed? Maybe we need to get the scale to a specific number. How are we gonna do that? Surgery. I think we're supposed to swap her body parts with John's. Oh. Shot. Was I right? Was it a heart transplant? Operating instructions. <laughs> Screen will display two medical mannequins. You can switch their body parts by selecting the part you want to switch out. Uh, you switch their heads. Yeah. Uh, can we see the file? No, I can't open it in here. 
Yeah, but it seems like, yeah. uh... Their arms are wrong. Probably. Yeah, so... Let's swap those. Mm. Um... Mm. Were the legs not sexy because they were actually a man's for seven? <laughs> Just kidding, the skin tone's wrong, though. Yeah. The skin tone's wrong here, too, though. Yeah, the skin- we can't go by that. Shit. Yeah. Hmm. Art? Wait, who likes art? Yeah, we can switch to it. Just... Oh, here, let's exit out so we can actually- Yeah, let's look at the we... thing oh. again. Did we actually grab it? No dice. Yeah, we did. I went back in. Yeah. After you reminded me that we didn't. I think if we knew the way to each part, we could figure it out. Alright, total right. so... weight and the weight of their individual parts. She needs to be 53.2 and he needs to be 51.3. Uh, 51.3. I just took a screenshot. Yeah, I'm writing it on the paper since I can't go check those back again. And I can just look down since it's in front of me. Um, okay, okay. So... One of her legs is more than the other. So his arms are the ones that are straight and hers are the ones that are pointing out. They have weird proportions. Yeah. Um, we could probably go back and look again at them. Yeah, let's let's get this started. Mm. Okay. Okay, so mm. let's switch the arms. Yeah. So and then switch them again. So, so the. Them? That arm is a 0.5 difference. Yeah, but she needs to have this arm, the uh, the gray one on his side. Well, don't worry about the actual arm. You need to worry about the weight. Yeah, but I'm just I thinking if the arms are the same as the weight on that thing, and you have the weight of them on like in the screenshot, then it would make a difference. <laughs> it would be the same as it's labeled on the screenshot. <laughs> Is my point, right? Yeah, but we can't remove those arms. Yeah, that's why I'm wondering why. That was my like, whole thing! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Why? That's just how the puzzle is. Sure. Switch stomachs. Switch chests. Switch hearts. Oh, we're so close. All right. Um, I can't switch their heads. Maybe yeah. John. Maybe I need to focus on John. There we oh. go. Hey, Junpei, I just heard something. Came from John's operating table. You better check it out. Junpei, look at the scale. Huh? Lit on the scale. Hey, it opens. Well, I get it. Must have opened because he matched John's weight to what's on the chart. Woo! There's a mark engraved on this key. I think it's the Jupiter symbol. We still have a bottle of liquid. Purple. I guess that makes sense. But it's interesting that we kept it after we used it. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think so. Or at least Probably. we can try it. Which way was the... Left. Hey, hold on. 
Oh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, God damn it. Where the hell did she go? There are only so many places in this room that she can hide. Uh, yeah. Okay, J just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Come on. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> what are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover. Can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Uh, huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. Huh? What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, with all this crazy talk. Oh. Uh, we can give her the bookmark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> It's in my pocket somewhere. Ah, here it is. A four-leaf clover. Hey, did you know? Each leaf means something. Hope, faith, love, and luck. That's what a four-leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake, I, I mean, your brother, he's not dead. He's alive somewhere, I, I'm sure of it. You've just gotta believe in that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now come on, Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Wait, before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Hmm. Uh, what? Oh. That's fine, just... <sighs> I think Beaker. I guess it was just a coincidence, then. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh... Look, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but you are making less than no sense right now. Oh no no no, it's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh don't don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop this? What is this experiment you were talking about? You promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Really? Really? Maybe. I can trust you, right? Yeah. Of course you can. Okay, then. I'll mm. tell you. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. On this huh? ship? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. You, uh, so on you've this been ship? here before. Yeah, this ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic right, thing. I know something about it. Communicating through these fields that you can't see. Right, morphogenetic fields? Fields that you can't see? Like, think about this. This is John, right? But is he really John? Huh? He has all the Isn't this like Locke's socks? Or the ship of Theseus? Um... You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? No? Sorry, I only came runner-up at my quiz bowl. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, well pay attention then. This is how Locke's socks works. Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Buy a new sock. <laughs> yeah, I'd buy a new sock. <laughs> or I'd just keep wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> just keep wearing it, stick my little toesy out. Make it look funny, keep going. Think I look funny. It feels weird on my feetsies. So, <laughs> to have just one toe sticking out, so I'd throw it. Well, I'd pitch it, I guess. But it's your favorite pair of socks. I'd I can be I sad. have Yeah, I have other pairs of socks that can be my favorites at some point. <laughs> Though I'm sure that's not the only pair of socks in the world that would feel good on my feet. Come on, who loves their socks that much? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just suppose you do love them that much. 
Hmm. Well, uh, I guess then I'd patch it. But what if another hole opens? I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole opened after that? Um, another patch, I guess? Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches. Until more eventually, like the original cloth of the lot. sock is totally <laughs> gone. Once you get to that yeah. point... <laughs> this is no longer my favorite pair of socks. Can you yeah. really say they're the same socks you started with? No. <laughs> no, but I do <laughs> find them really stupid looking. I love it. Mm. Then imagine okay. wearing all those threads on your feet. Yeah. Like all the. Ugh. I'd love to put them uh, in like a frame or oh, something that, after, mm, though. That's, like people ooh, do with quilts they don't tough. use. <laughs> Hang it up as decoration. So that's the lock socks thing? Yeah. The ship of Theseus is a lot like it. But a lot less cut the and dry. Ship of Theseus. If you keep fixing the damaged parts of a ship, eventually it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Can you really say that ship is the same one you started with? What? Well, and what if you took different. all the old parts from right, the first right. ship and built another one somewhere else? Yeah, I think this is definitely because of the scale and item that it is. It's on a different. Like, lock socks is pretty cut and dry. No, that's not the pair- that pair of socks, right? Yeah. It's completely different. But for a ship, it's... It's... Like, with the ship example, complex. it's... Yeah. Especially because, in this situation, you have all the old parts left. Yeah, but you but, build them on- you build another ship out of yeah. that. Yeah, so, doing that, now you have two ships. But in the sock example, you just have one sock, and you don't really know what happened to all their holes. They, they just happen. And then you just keep passing them. Now you just have one whole sock. I think the ship thing comes down to the significance of a name. I guess. If it's still named the same ship, then I guess it would technically be that ship, no? I the other guess. ship is a different thing because it's named... Well, supposing that it would be named differently. I don't think a ship is the um, is necessarily the materials it's made of. It's what the person who owns the ship says it is, I guess. To put yeah. it very, very simply. <laughs> huh. I wonder. Then which wonder what ship is the is. real ship of Theseus? The one you repaired, or the one you built with all the original parts? Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. Is this John, or is it Lucy now? Still has John's head. <laughs> it's juicy. Uh, <laughs> John's head and heart are both his, but apart from those and a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Think about huh? it. The cells in our body change every day. Um. Old ones die and new ones are born. But that's different than both the ship and the socks. Yeah. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. If you take it a little further, those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. We're all made of stardust. Yeah. To fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Hey, what the hell has taken you two so long? Waxing philosophical. How long are you going to make me wait? Once more. <laughs> we don't have time to screw around. <sighs> oh, what were you two doing? Is this some sort of secret meeting? No. No, it wasn't. It we was were just... Waxing for the costumes. <laughs> just... Playing. With the mannequins. Come on, now. <laughs> Can't you... Huh? We Suck just... it, lying. We just got caught in conversation, right, Clover? <laughs> Let's go, Junpei. Playing with mannequins, huh? Yeah, hey, you were talking about doing that this whole time. 
You can't judge us. <laughs> Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. Listen, you can't talk to us like this considering you called the fucking mannequin chest hot. <laughs> <sighs> now, maybe he's excited about it because he's found someone he can have a kinship with. <laughs> <sighs> You're a dick. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking, just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine then. Uh, what yeah, lies beyond? Evil door. <laughs> all right, let's get going. The game suddenly turns into Spooky's house. Hey man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy, you know, get a little excited? We did a puzzle. <sighs> <sighs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. I'm bummed. <sighs> My brother might be dead. I'm going to be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. Yeah, like, what do you- I want more details on that if possible. You found it! Yay! Confetti! You too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? Hey, told you we'd meet up again. Sooner Jim? this time. And Santa! And Lotus too! What if it led back oh. to the medical room? What the hell is this? <laughs> what are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey guys, could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? Yay! It says C yeah. deck. Six. So it's the map for this floor then? Door seven and door eight. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't gonna be split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. And that's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. What's in here? Oh, it's Ace still sleeping. Yeah. Maybe Snake's I standing with it. him or something. We're back. In the hospital room. Ace. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. <laughs> Good morning. Hmm. The six of you nice? split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Yeah, you knocked yourself out before you saw us go. <laughs> Care to explain the anesthesia to me one more time? <laughs> Why you Another used one. it? <laughs> take a nap. <laughs> like... You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. And then met one another right. in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. I wonder what hey. the laboratory was like. Hmm? Can we pull up the flow again? Yeah. Like it... I mean, we should have met back up on the linear. Um... Yeah. Well, yeah, I just... Okay, so that was the... But that one goes all the way by itself. Do you think, do you I think, think that's door three then? It's either door three or maybe after a specific number of tries, we're able to find a way for all of us to go, like for all of us to go through a door. Mm. Those are the two options we have, I think. I think it's more likely that it's door three because it's a short one. But I, you can never say, you know. I think yeah. it's more likely that it's door I, three, though. I imagine, like, yeah, I imagine this this path and the center path. We we're like we didn't go on. We're like the center one is if we went through door eight, mm. where we then we would go to the laboratory and they would go yeah. to the operating room. Yeah. And 
that just has me curious for what the hell is door three then? Because that leads yeah. to an entirely, like that is an outcome also for another choice down there, it seems. So mm -hmm. that has me curious. Yeah. It is curious. By go choosing door three, it seems like we skip an entire choice. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. <laughs> well, hey. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. <laughs> I like well, you, Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The, the key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Here. The Earth. Earth key. Yeah. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah. On it. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. Was the Earth... I don't remember what the Earth key... Wasn't it, um... I think we did see that symbol on... Was it do the elevators or was it another door that I... I think it was another elevator. Yeah, because one of them, I one of the elevators had the sun symbol, yeah? Yeah. And I think the other one had the earth symbol, was it? I think the earth symbol was or on was a it? deck, because mm -hmm. a little thing that I, I thought of was mm -hmm. on a deck, we also had that skylight that was blocked off. And right, it and it looked like the off, earth key. Yeah. yeah, I remember. I remember us commenting on that, actually. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they tell if us. If the map's right, right, then it connects to the central staircase. Or at least for the Jupiter key, they tell us. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There might be another key in there. Yeah. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. Um, wait, so that's, that's four plus one. Can we go? Yeah. So seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. Five plus five. Hmm. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. Then we can't go. Yeah. Alright, let's get moving. I wanna go too! Can I play as one right. of you guys? Okay, we're heading out. I guess this won't be a choice. Hmm. Be careful. Oh, didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. She never hit it. <laughs> okay, we're off. Go, go, go. Mm, come back safe. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. That makes sense. If they're gonna be going through that door, we might as well yes. explore. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it.
Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? Well, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? We didn't go on the I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Yeah. We pissed in we your Cheerios. Keys, yeah, we came back because we have so many keys on us. They're jangling in my pockets. I gotta set them free. Of course there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. <laughs> huh? This. The Saturn key card. Dummy. And the Earth key? I'm lost. You fucking... Don't you idiot. remember, Santa? <laughs> Santa does not know what keys are for. <laughs> On C deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with yeah, the Saturn okay, symbol Saturn on it. Symbol. And on A deck, like? on the door to the left, there was mm, a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So, the two keys that Jumpy has... Should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. She sounded like a teacher congratulating a grade schooler. <laughs> you did it! Good job! A gold what do you star say we split you. into two teams? <laughs> Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Ah, uh, fine. Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. And everyone respect the time limit this time. <laughs> There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Alright. This one's been going for three hours. Shall we cut here? Yeah. Alright, let me save. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, take me to the title. Should we keep recording? Like, do two more recordings, or? Uh, like we did last time, or should we just stop for today? Let's take a little bit, like a five minute break, and then we'll keep playing. Alright. I'm probably gonna just end the stream again then, for that, yeah. just to have time to go get food and stuff and not... I and not cut it, and not like have to cut things again. Yeah. But um. But uh, for for those who are watching us on YouTube, thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you very kindly. And for um, those on Twitch, we'll be back in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so don't go anywhere. If you want a notification for when uh we go live again with this in a few more in a few minutes, then give me a follow. Yeah. Um. What else? The usual oh, yeah. things. Follow yeah, the Twitters. Everything's down below. Yeah. <laughs> uh, buy a shirt. Yeah. They're really cool. Super rad. Very pop. Yeah. Um, and the pride stuff there to stay. Yeah. Um, with that said, everyone on YouTube, have a wonderful rest of your day and safe space travels. Safe space travels. <laughs>